Back in the more flooding as okay. well. Back into areas of eastern Oklahoma and Texas. Hey, that's a check on weather. It's brought to you by Grossmart from BASF. Get the most advanced and flexible dicamba for dicamba tolerant soybeans and cotton. And Genia herbicide. BASF. We create chemistry. Next on this week in agribusiness, it's Max's tractor shed. Spotlighting another great American tractor. Well, what do you think? Can a tractor get better with age? Will it perform better over time? Well, maybe if it's used, all right. We talk about it in Max's Tractor Shed this weekend. It's brought to you by Big Iron Auctions. Out here, life is measured in seasons. You've put in a lifetime of hard work on your farm. Big Iron believes you deserve the best possible results for your auction. Well, this is a tractor in the shed this weekend that perhaps you have seen because it was on display for a while at the John Deere Pavilion in Moline, Illinois. Ed Weisman's John Deere D, a 1931 tractor that he gave $50 for. Oh, yes, and it's still unrestored. Ed is a veteran of the Second World War, one of those guys from what has been called the greatest generation. And he's owned this John Deere for a few decades now. He got it from the local Oliver dealer who had taken it in on a trade. It sat for several years, Ed said, and then one day he decided to get that old John Deere started and take it to a plow day. Well, he plowed with it. That old 31 John Deere D had good power, and Ed said every time he used it, it actually got better. And he didn't do anything to the engine at all. He has other tractors that have been restored, but this old D, not restored, is Ed Weisman's favorite. Ed's a member of the two-cylinder club, and he may be one of those folks there at the Gathering of the Green next March, March 21st, Davenport, Iowa, where those John Deere antique tractor fans will get together. At the North Carolina 